Hi everybody, so in video 1705 we tried some heavy fuel oils, vegetable oil and paraffin, diesel. We got a pretty smoky flame and you can think of that as somewhat disappointing and that's the end of the story. But video 1706 of course we talked about gasification. We talked about being able to break gasification down into steps. One of the key ones being pyrolysis. You might wonder what I've got here. What I've got here is a pentin lid bolted onto a bit of copper pipe coming off of this. The copper pipe is just um, standard 15mm with some compression fittings. I use compression fittings so I can reuse them. Clearly you could solder and there's my empty pet can. And if I fill that with wood, stick that lid on and heat that up to somewhere between 3 and 500 degrees centigrade, what will happen is pyrolysis. When we pyrolyze that, we'll get syngas out of here and we can light that syngas. So, rather than just saying it, let's put some wood in here. Okay, it's filled with wood. We we'll stick it in there tightly. So here is the setup we're going to use. I've got my paint can on a primer stove and there is my burner. Now, as it gets hot, obviously it's going to drive off the water. Then it's going to start generating syngas and we should be able to get a nice torch out of this. But let's get it turned on and have a look. And there we go, our little setup producing syngas by pyrolysis. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool, hey? So this little procedure, not only is it for um, the third, second part of gasification, it can also be used for making petrite of plastics. It's exactly the same procedure. You bang your plastic in there and you give it some heat. Without the oxygen, it'll break down in the same way that wood does, but it won't leave the charcoal after because that's hot. But what's in there, it's just ordinary charcoal briquettes. If you use plastic, especially HDPE, what will be in there is absolutely nothing. And it's a very similar setup that we use to distill methanol, incidentally, from wood, and we'll be doing that in a separate video, but this is just about pyrolysis. Now, when we were working with those vegetable oils, of course, what we were getting were a very sooty flame, and what we need to do is add in some element of pyrolysis so that we can get a full gasification, if you like, of that heavier oils to get a much better burn. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the idea of pyrolysis. Pyrolysis, remember, is just heat applied without oxygen. Thank you very much for watching the video and please do remember to like and subscribe.